Hello Onion Creekers. I'm here on number seven original, one of my favorite holes on the course. To give you a quick tip on swing plane, when it comes to swing plane, it's one of the biggest things that can bring your shot dispersion in. Everyone's going to miss shots. It's where do my misses go? Are they out of play or are they playable? If you can limit the misses you have that are big, you can really have a better chance of having a good round of golf. So I'm going to talk to you about the fundamentals of the swing plane and show you how you can work on them at home. Right here I've got a couple of alignment rods on the ground. They're pointing right at my target. When I'm setting up, I want to do my best to set up parallel with my target line. So if the alignment rods are on my target line, then my feet are parallel with that. Secondly, you'll see a lot of good players, male and female, work on this position. They're trying hard to get here because at waist high, you want to be parallel to your target line. You'll see some with the club face a little closed, some a little bit more to square, but you'll always see the shaft is parallel to their target line at waist high. As we take it further than that, the elbow and wrist start to hinge where the club would point at the ball if you freeze frame it right here. And then it would continue back and it would point at an extension of the target line. As I come back down to impact, I would love to square the club face and finish on plane, which is my clubs pointing at the target. So here on number eight, I'm 150 yards out. I got this big pecan tree in my way. I really need to hit a good shot. So I try to set up parallel and I do my best to swing on plane. Good crisp shot. All right, I like that. Now, I don't get to do a lot of practicing, so it's important that I'm able to work on my swing plane at the house. This is the real tip today. If you will do what I call the baby club drill, which is grip down on the club in such a way that you can see the club face is still square, but you're definitely holding it mid shaft or even a little bit lower. And then you're rehearsing in the house while you're watching the football game parallel at the ball at an extension of your target line and then most importantly firing through towards the target again i've got the club mid shaft parallel at the ball extension of my target line firing through to the target again if i'm in my living room I put my club on the ground, I choke up on the club, I'm parallel to the carpet, I'm at the edge of the carpet, I'm in an extension of the carpet, and then I follow through and get into this finished position. Can't tell you how important it is to get those reps in. And unless you're playing golf for a living, it's hard to do enough reps to be consistent and get a good swing plane. I hope this tip helps you.